Here are some SQL database basics. Learn about a base table, table view, projection, selection, join, union, Dr. Cobb's rules, and collating sequence. Remember that in a relational database, the physical data is stored in tables that are defined in the database, and these tables are called base tables. When data is retrieved from one or more base tables, the result is returned as a temporary result table and goes away when you are through using the data. A row is the single line of horizontal data and is identified by matching to data values. A column is the single vertical pillar of data and is identified by the column name. Each base table has a unique table name. Data is found by specifying table name, column name, and matching data values. The primary key consists of column data that makes each row unique and identifiable. Here is a cross-reference for the terms used in a relational database management system, conventional files, and relational ANSI standard definitions. You may pause these presentations at any time to review the details. People who have access to only a table view are limited to only certain columns and or rows. This is generally done for security reasons. For example, someone may be allowed to look up an employee's name but cannot see the employee's pay rate. No data is stored in a view. The data is retrieved from one or more base tables. The resulting view is presented as a single table. Projection means that only some of the table columns are retrieved to be placed in the result table. In this example, only the columns highlighted in light green appear in the result table. Selection means that only some of the table rows are retrieved to be placed in the result table. In this example, only the rows highlighted in light green appear in the result table. A table join is where data from two or more tables are used to create a single result table. Here you can see that the data from the employee table has been joined with the data from the payroll table by employee ID giving one result table. Joining data is what gives the relational database its power. A table union gives results where each row in one table matches the values in another table. This is different from a table join where the selected data from two tables are combined into one result table. Duplicates are eliminated unless union all is used. Dr. Codd has only 12 rules for a relational database. Most database vendors do not implement all 12 rules. Here are his 12 rules stated simply. Rule 1. Data is placed in the form of a table. Rule 2. Data has a table name, column names, and a primary key. Rule 3. You can have fields of unknown value called null. Rule 4. The database and table definitions are defined as tables and kept in the system tables. Rule number 5. SQL supports data definition, data manipulation, view manipulation, integrity constraints, authorization, and transaction boundaries. Rule 6. A table view can only do updates if the data comes from one base table. Rule 7. 
You can retrieve and update multiple rows with one command. Rule 8. Data definition modification can be done while the database is up and running. Rule 9. Programs do not need to be modified when changes are made to the database. Rule 10. Data constraints can be defined so that data integrity can be maintained. Rule 11. The database can be distributed over multiple systems based on data ranges. Rule 12. The only way to access the data is by using SQL. Data encryption prevents any backdoor access. Collating sequence is important. Collating sequence is the sequence of the data when it is sorted in ascending or descending order. This is particularly important when you are comparing values using the less than or greater than. Personal computers store data using ASCII characters and collating sequence. Mainframe computers use IBCDIC characters and collating sequence. You will notice that with ASCII in ascending order, it's numbers, capital letters, and then small letters. With IBCDIC in ascending order, it's small letters, capital letters, and then numbers, and each has special characters scattered in different places. A few vendors allow you to choose your collating sequence. We hope you found this information useful, and please come visit us at Computer-Based Training, Inc. Dot com.